No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Hey guys, this is Andy with No Film School. I'm here with Paul, who's the uh, director of product management at Sound Devices. Uh, what's new, Paul? Well, we've got some pretty cool new stories. We've got the version 3 firmware update for our 688 uh, portable field production mixer recorder, which is a 12 input, 16 track portable mixer recorder. We actually launched that last year, along with the uh, SL6 accessory, um, which is an integrated um, wireless receiver and powering distribution system, which bolts directly to the, um, the, um, the uh, actual recorder. And this minimizes all the cable clutter surrounding um, the product so that you don't need external audio cables or power distribution cables anymore. So it really sort of neatens the production sound mixer's bag and keeps things much more reliable. Um, we can control and set all parameters of the receivers from the 688. Now the real cool feature that we've just announced at this show is RF scan. Now the amount of RF spectrum available to productions is really shrinking and there's the auction process going on this year and it, you know it's really quite difficult now to find free frequencies to use for wireless use and so in order to help our clients um, um, configure and coordinate their frequencies we've introduced this RF scan feature and it's a really cool feature what you do you simply hit a button which says RF scan and it um, uses the receivers to scan the environment for RF signal and plots out a graphical plot of the RF signal in the environment why is that good because once we've got that plot we can avoid areas of high RF signal level and interference and look for clean spots in the RF spectrum. Okay, so you can see this um, RF scan is virtually complete. I can now scroll using this encoder to find a clean frequency. If I need to zoom in, I can zoom in on the spectrum to find a clean spot. Here we go. And then I can select that and allocate it to any of the six channels of receivers connected to the... So that's one major feature. Another key feature which we've added to this version 3 firmware for the 688 is Dugan Auto Mixing. Now anyone who knows anything about auto mixing, it's a technology that's been around for 25 years or so and it was developed to handle um, situations, multi-mic applications. Now can you imagine like a conference where there's maybe 12, 20 microphones open? The amount of background noise that that can generate with all those op open microphones. So auto mixing basically was the, used the principle of why um, why don't we close automatically microphones that no one's speaking into? So it detects speech levels and either open or close accordingly. If it closes microphones, then it's going to reduce background noise. Okay. So we've added Dugan. This is the first field production location recorder mixer to include Dugan at the Dugan algorithm. So that's um, our 688. I'd like to talk to you a bit about our video devices Pixie firmware update. Should we move over there? That would be great. Pixie series was launched last year and um, I want to really talk about the new feature that we've introduced at NAB in the last few days and this software will be available in the next few weeks and that is the feature of simultaneous ProRes and H.264 recording. Now it's possible to record a master quality ProRes file to the speed drive and a low bit rate H.264 to an XSD card. Now the important thing about this is it's a low bit rate H.264. The quality is an HD um, format so even if we're 4K is incoming to the Pixie we have an automatic built-in 4K to HD scaler which converts the image down to HD for the H.264 recording. So you get 4K on your speed drive ProRes but HD H.264 on the SD card. What is the bit rate? It's variable, okay, um, but it's going to be somewhere between the sort of 2 to 10 megabits per second range. But it's fine enough quality for content review and streaming. Now, a very important thing to note, sir, if you're working with a log camera and you're outputting 4K log, you want the, the master file, the ProRes file, to be log, right, for master editing, but you want the H.264 to be LUTed. So you can burn in the, the LUT onto the, the SD proxy. Correct. You got it. 
So that's really important, ideal for viewing. So a couple of applications, obviously a cheap handoff copy to a producer or director, but also think about applications like in houses of worship or education or corporate, where you're shooting a service or a class or a, a corporate event and you need to get that material online as quickly as possible for remote congregation or students or staff members. No transcoding necessary. I also want to talk about um, the Pixel R. Although we announced this a little while ago, it's now shipping. In the last month it started shipping. And as I said, this um, is, provides really high quality mic preamps um, for, the, um, uh, for the audio for our Pixie. Okay, so on the back here, we have like two XLR mic preamps, really wide gain, ultra low noise, um, and fantastic limiters. Now most videographers, it's not always obvious how to set your gain. So we've put really high quality limiters on this. So even if you've overcranked your gain and someone screams into the mic, you're not going to overload digitally and cause horrible distortion. The limiters are going to really capture that, um, really prevent that overload and in a nice sounding way. They are really high quality preamps. That's great. Uh, what's, so, the, what's the price point for the Pixel R? Oh, it's only $399. It's a giveaway. I mean, so and that uh, for 300 bucks, you're getting two sound devices, preamps, and limiters in, in an attachment. That's correct. Right. So that, that's the main story in our Pixie at the show. So the other thing that I just want to wrap up with, and I think this is pretty much known, is this th is the most professionally, ruggedly built of all the products out there on the market. We drive trucks over these, and we have no... Yeah, I saw that video. Yeah, you saw it? So, yeah, um, die-cast aluminum chassis, Gorilla Glass. We've got these wonderful tactile switches, so you don't have to use the touchscreen if you don't want to. We have this tap zoom feature. So there's plenty in there that's unique from our competitors. All right, thank you so much, Paul. Thank you.